So 4 minus 4x cos squared alpha is equals to 4 sine alpha minus 1. So let's ask first of all, change this to sine so that we have one unknown. Uh, that is a, in a form of sine. So we know that uh, cos squared alpha is equals to 1 minus sine squared alpha. And therefore, we change this. So we have 4 minus 4 into bracket. We now say it is 1 minus sine squared alpha. Close the bracket. Is equals to 4 sine alpha minus 1. Uh, so from there, we rearrange our equation by opening this bracket and we will be able to get a quadratic equation that is 4 sine squared alpha minus 4 sine alpha plus 1 is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. We can factorize this. So we can rewrite this equation as 4 sine squared alpha minus uh, 2 sine alpha minus 2 sine alpha plus 1 is equals to 0. Uh, when you factorize this, you get this is equals to, uh, you get this is into brackets 2 sine alpha minus 1, close the bracket, and we have 2 sine alpha minus 1 is equals to 0. So from there, since these are the same, we can write it as uh, 2 sine alpha minus 1 is it, uh, into bracket squared is equals to 0. We get the square root for both sides and we'll get this is 2 sine alpha uh, is equals to, that is minus 1, is equals to 0, implying 2 sine alpha is equals to 1, and sine alpha is equals to a half. So from there, uh, we look for the angles whose uh, sine is a half, and alpha, the first angle, is in the first quadrant. It is 30 degrees. Uh, also, in the second quadrant, sine is positive, And the angle whose sine is a half is 150 degrees. So these are the two angles that satisfy our equation, or satisfies alpha. And by doing that, you earn yourself 4 marks.